how do you become more expressive on your instrument? Some of the most amazing guitar players in the world can express so much, sometimes even with just one or two notes. Just think about the amazing BB King and how he could literally just blow your mind with one single note. Tommy Emanuel and the incredible dynamic range he can achieve on his guitar. He can go from loud and energetic playing to soft and heartbreaking tone. It's absolutely awesome what you can do on the guitar. And today I wanna to show you a bunch of dynamic and expressive tools you can implement in your playing to become a better guitar player. We're gonna use a simple chord progression and a simple melody, and I really wanna show you the difference between playing just notes and expressing an emotion through the same chord progression. Now the chord progression is quite simple. We have A minor seven, B minor seven over D, and E minor. And we're also gonna throw in an E minor seven sometimes. So just four simple chords. Now even playing just a simple chord progression can be challenging if you're trying to say something, if you're trying to express an emotion. So yes, you can you know, strum the chords. And that's it. But you can also try to convey um, an emotion, a certain feeling, right? So for example, in this case, I will do it with the thumb, slowly. So strumming with the thumb gives me a beautiful and warm tone. Uh, each string sounds the same, and I add a lot of vibrato by moving the guitar. And one thing that I love about this is the fact that we can really feel each single string. For the E minor seven, I like to use my fingernail with an app stroke, it changes the vibe and the sound of the chord. It's a completely different tone, so even more expression. Now, a certain type of dynamic can actually become the theme of the music you are playing. For example, if I'm playing with the thumb and I have this warm and rounded tone, I can keep the same tone even when I play a melody. For example, In this case, I'm packing everything with the thumb so each note sounds the same. We keep the same tone throughout the entire structure. The melody is quite simple. We have B on fret four, E on fret five, F sharp on fret two, uh, G on fret three, and then B on fret seven. Now it's how we play these notes. For example, we could play the same melody like this. But we instantly change the tone and the dynamic feel of what we are playing. The music sounds different. And so there is a massive difference between playing the same melody in two different ways. And I prefer this way. For example, we can make this melody more singable by adding a slide from B flat to B. and a hammer on from five to seven. And then the chord, A minor seven. Now in this case, the melody is played on fret three and two, but I always use a slide to emulate the voice from two to three. And then fret number two, B minor over D. And the melody again. Just three notes, F sharp on two, A on five, and G on three. Arpeggiate the chord, E minor chord with the thumb, and 
and then E minor 7 with an upstroke. And again, I'm still plucking with the thumb. We can embellish the melody and play it with more notes. So the melody is the same. Up to the A minor 7 and then we have lovely phrase five to seven with a hammer on five and two arpeggiate the chord and then you have the melody in thirds two and three five and seven and three on the first string now we can also keep exploring new chords for example Lovely approach. The melody is the same. Once we get to fret 7, we put down this beautiful A minor 9. It's a bar chord on fret 5, 4 strings, and we also play the first string, fret number 7. And we are uh, lightly strumming the strings one by one, starting from the A string. It's always with the thumb. A lot of vibrato, you see that I um, shake the guitar a lot. It really adds a natural vibrato. That sounds beautiful. Now melody. Again, I always either slide uh, from six to seven, and then 10, five. PGA this awesome chord. It's F sharp on fret 4, G open string, uh, D on fret 3, and A on fret 5. Now, I really like to consider this chord to be a B minor 7 chord, to be honest. Lovely sounding chord. But we don't play the bass. Simple arpeggio with the thumb, and then the melody on 5 and 7, and 3. And the A minor 7. Simple arpeggio. So it's really important to work on dynamics. I really like to pluck the strings softly, always with the thumb. Now after that we change the tone with the C major chord, which we're gonna play loud. That's the very first loud chord we're playing. It's two strums. I like to do this rasgiado kind of thing with ring, middle, and index, and then an upstroke. D sharp diminished chord, uh, which is one, two, one, two, and E minor. She's played with E on 2, G, B, and G on fret number 3. Bass, and a pull-off from 3 to 0 on the first string. And this is the only loud part. Melody. A minor 9. And then we have this A minor 7, A sharp minor 7, and B minor 7. It's just a chromatic thing. We only use the 4th, um, 3rd, and 2nd string. From 5 to 7. And then a phrase. Now this phrase um, opens up the uh, solo, which is played over a backing track. We can check the solo in another video. For now, I really want you to focus on dynamics and tone, because I think these two skills are really what set you apart from other guitar players. 
So use this chord progression to develop your tone and then try to apply the same concept to other chord progressions and other songs. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, guys. Take it step by step and I'll see you next time.